So we're gonna do now is do dimensions. So have we already done some dimensions? Yeah. So let's use those dimensions we already did. So dimensioning all the nodes, everything that's under annotation here. So we go to the annotation tab. That's where we're gonna have all the writing and detailing kind of stuff. <coughs> So you see the smart dimensions like we had before? That's if we want to add new dimensions. But if we want to use the ones we already have, we're just going to go to model items. I'm going to click on that view, say OK, OK. And now I brought in all the dimensions it had for that part. Maybe I'll pull that up. Maybe I'll pull that up. Those should be really combined into one note though, right? So maybe I'll delete those. I'll put those back in as a note on my own. These ones, those are pretty good. Just need to do some moving around. Click on the little circles, I'll flip the arrows. I can go to uh, here and change decimal places and go here and add tolerances so. I do um, if I go to display options I can add it parentheses what's that what's that mean So, and that actually wouldn't be with the tolerance. But what would this be with parentheses? Oof. What does parentheses mean? Point. Reference. Reference. So it's just for it's, that's not the one to inspect, right? Ref, it means that that's for information to help the machinist, not one that's for inspection on it. But what is? I do that. <coughs> so these. Because we brought in these dimensions from the from the model, if I double click on it, and I change that number, I hit update, the part updates. Change it back, hit update. It updates. So that's the, the power of putting the model dimensions in. <clears throat> Go to model items here. Okay, yes. That's a good note there. But it didn't bring me to that. So model items. I want whole wizard locations. These are the ones kind of tell you which things it's going to bring in. Right here. So this is dimensions, align dimensions, pull diameters, pull locations. So it's not bringing the whole location also. Not bringing all those whole locations. You know, it's a different <coughs> one for this, for the vertical alignment. Why, why not? It's an avid line. No, because I didn't put a dimension for that. I, did, I made it line up with, this, with the axis, so it didn't put one in. Um, I can put it in a center line. Center line, pick that side, that side. Now I've got my symmetric part, center mark, and the circle. See how it 
I did that. So now I've got center marks there. Join those two center marks together. Move stuff around so it's in better positions. So I did that, I just grab the end point and drag it over to this corner. So now I get my gap. What about these notes? Do I need to say through all? No. So if I go into here, into the note, so if I just go into here, this whole group. Just take that out and say yes. <clears throat> oh, left align. That. Pull through out. Yes. Left align. So now it's, it's looking better. Maybe that one's only switched from two places. But in any of these dimensions, I can click on. Except for the holes. The holes are, don't go back to it. But any of these ones, you can tell it three, hit update, it's going to update the part. And that's where that thread not going to go all the way to the hole, getting us. But I have to go back into the, into the part, open that up, fix that thread. So if there's the other ones I want, now I can just go to Smart Dimension. Dimension so. So I can go back in there and edit my own thing and put them in for things that don't come in right. <coughs> this view, do I need it? No. Get rid of that. That's really all I need. So go ahead and do that. <coughs> 